like to welcome everybody here this morning. And uh, we just have to have a special meeting to, to, do, to do some approving of some payments. Uh, more than anything, uh, everything Bridget Bank put in her computer to print it off, it somehow or other got not just injected, but uh, delete, delete that, everything she had in her house. So that's why we have her meet today. But before we get started, uh, I do I want to kind of a tough meeting. I'm not going to start being here. But uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and stand. I'll leave a word of prayer and then we'll do the special meeting. Dear Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for another day of life. You've given us, dear Lord, and just uh, thank, you, thank you for an opportunity to get together and discuss county business and just pray that you just be with us and help us to. Uh, Work together and move the county forward, dear Lord. Again, we just pray for the ones that are sick with this cold still going on, dear Lord. We just pray that you just bless each family. Dear Lord, we thank the ones out west that's got uh, uh, just leveled in this uh, awful tornado, dear Lord. We just pray for each and every one of those families and, and uh, just pray that we can help do a small part to, to help them. Again, we just thank you for, for this day and again remember. Roy and our family and look over them and protect them as only you can and, and comfort them. And again, we never fail to give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, first order of business is the consideration and approval to pay KCJA an amount of one ninety five. This was for a training September mat. Somehow another the bill was just It was sent to mention the we mail. Yeah, that's what it was. Instead of sent to Matt, they sent it to Mitch's email and uh, we didn't get, didn't know until they called and said that it hadn't been paid. So then we'll make a motion. Motion. Second. Donnie Bush? Aye. Ray Moore? Aye. Elk Center? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, we don't have it in our packet, but mate, I see I see that Dirk just walked in, but uh, uh, we got a letter from the uh, uh, clerk, uh, circuit clerk building next door, and I guess the time is expired on doing any kind of extension or appeal and uh, consideration and approval to pay Charlie Bailey in full for Breath of County case 19 CM 274 and KY Court Appeals 2020 CA 141. But I think what we need to do, I think Matt and uh, Derek needs to get together and come up with an exact amount and exact dollar for you. Y'all haven't got that together yet, have you? We have an exact salary. We have a salary. Well, the yeah, only other things that are at issue are the retirement, which yeah, and that was hard to figure out. in July. Yeah, that's hard to figure out. And did did you all figure that up, or is that what they, they said, figured out? Well, this one said that she wanted a report from the state. <clears throat> she the actual retirement department. No, she ordered it to be paid. I know that she wanted to report on what to be paid from them. Well, we'd have to have that. You will have to submit that now and, and start working with the state to get that done. And that's a, I understand that's a timely process. That not, that's nobody's fault or anything else. Uh, since, since we started paying Charlie and doing retirement, one month back, two months ago. Since the beginning of September. Yeah. It, it ought not be hard to figure up to that day now from the time it was cut off to the time. Did you reinstate her retirement in September? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got paid in September and not October. And then I guess it's time, it's, 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 this week is payment on uh, November. Yeah. But we do need exact, we, I, the only thing. We, can, we can't order to make a motion to go ahead and pay her full. We need to have exact yeah. amount with. You can motion to make her back better right now. Yeah, you can make the motion on the salary. So if you two can get together and get the numbers together, and I didn't really, I know we, I know we got the money to do it, but I mean we need to know exact. It's hard to make a motion to pay pay this without 
And then you turn around and pay one amount, it'd be the wrong amount or something. I can't remember off the top of my head. I remember Charlotte and Durick, and we got the same number. So I think the best thing to do is let Durick and Charlotte and Matt $63,266.67. Three is is that a copy that you got from the state? No, is that what you're saying? That's the W2. Oh, that's the South. I think that's right. But I think you need to get the salary together. The, the retirement, I think, is going to be the biggest thing because it'll have to be to that penny. Yeah, I think we have to get a report out of state for that. That's us with the salary part. Thank you, Jessica. Let them go ahead and get their numbers together. Then we just call the agent to go ahead and pay them. We've got a regular meeting coming up anyway. Yeah, the 28th. Hope. Can you all get that together maybe by next? Is that next Tuesday? Depends on state. I'm, we we can get the salary. That's where that's at. Go ahead and pay her a salary today. There's no reason not to do that. Okay, so you got the exact amount of the salary what you just read off? And that's you got the number that, Pat? I did, but I don't know that. You have a copy too, I remember yours. That's sixty I twenty nine thousand two hundred is what if, you get if you, pull a W two right now. And, and, and then then also you're gonna have to take what been paid. It, it, what you've already been taxes. paid. That was for twenty six months. Yeah. That was up till September. Have you taken that out of the amount that you just read off? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we ran the report just up in September, but they are the well to spoil to shove that through payroll and then come tax and stuff out. So you're saying so you didn't get paid since September. Are you saying her to go ahead and pay her salary? Yep. You all got the matching numbers. Yep. Give me the exact amount again, let me write it down. The number I've got for twenty six months on a basis of twenty nine thousand two hundred. Is sixty-three thousand two hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-seven cents for twenty-six months. Let's say that again. You get twenty-nine thousand two hundred, and you lost me. What, what is that for? How much has already been paid? That's magistrate's annual salary. Oh, okay. Their annual salary. Yeah. So when you come up with twenty-six months for how much? Sixty-three thousand two hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-seven cents. Are you saying fifty-three or sixty-three? Sixty-three. Sixty-three thousand two sixty-six sixty-seven. Yeah. Three sixty-six seven. Twenty-nine thousand. Six hundred thousand. Yeah, that's taking. So you started July one, two thousand nineteen by the order. Okay. So it's been so from July one, two thousand nineteen to September one, two thousand nineteen. Twenty-six months. Sixty-three thousand. That's fifty. Seventy-six thousand two hundred and sixty-six. Fifty-six payrolls. Yeah. For fifty-seven. Well, I was actually counting backwards. So you're right. There's there's more in there, isn't there? I've got fifty-six. I've got fifty-six pay periods. Okay. Fifty-six pay periods. 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 Fifty-six pay
declare about a mouth claim. But October 18, we filed a motion to vacate the original judgment. And I might say without any legal representation, we did it ourselves. We, we was the only, only three county officials that questioned his claim. Is that right or not? And then even that number you got there, Donnie, that's probably not the exact figure. Well, that's what I'm saying. Tournament. We start off with a, a right. wrong figure. Judge Whisper's ruling, uh, the $8,725.42 that was claimed, that Charlotte claimed the training center, she denied it. She did. Okay. She did. She also, yeah, Charlotte claimed $25,328.62 for inch health insurance, which she denied, reduced that figure to $2,200. And $31.79 that Charlotte proved that she was out of pocket. If Is you that correct? read the order, we've actually been ordered to reach a settlement about that. I got it right here. Okay. And you'll see that Judge Wisman noted that if it could have been shown that Charlotte was due any more money for health insurance plans during that time, that we should constructively try to reach a settlement on that. Did you, you got the receipt showing that? Well, I can show you that you all certainly got health insurance benefits during that time, and she didn't. That ain't my question. Did you, if you got receipts showing what she's actually out of pocket, that you should be out of pocket expense. It's about what she had was entitled to, which is why if we have to, okay. we'll have to. Well, we can't agree on what we owe. Now we're going to prove what, hey, what you say goes. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead, and we we. Uh, we, we do need him to figure on paper. Yeah. And I think that's the only one we're going to be able to accomplish today is their salary. That's and we'll let Derek that's and, and Matt and Brandon <coughs> work it up after, after this. So let's just go ahead and go on to the next uh, if I quarter business so, and we Jeff, go back to it. If I could say so, on uh, September 14th, you know, Mr. Campbell had filed contempt charges against us three matchers for not agreeing to pay this $135,000, which Judge Wisdom denied. Yeah, but I mean, it's just denied it on the basis that, that you all did, you all did choose to come into compliance as of September first, which I appreciate. You all not the total amount. No, but you were attempting to come into compliance with the judgment. And my and she, she did not issue contempt on the basis that you made an effort to comply with the judgment, which is fine. Okay. So she had dropped. Uh, again, again we, we ain't gonna get we ain't gonna get anywhere with this and this thing. We, we'll get the other figures down on paper, though, but let's just go ahead and uh, get the rest of the agenda taken care of, and then we'll go and recess and, and see if we can get agreement on our salary pay. So next on the agenda, consideration approval to pay the flex bill and gravel bill. Uh, you got your packet there. That's for the black top that was put down in each district. So I mean, that, that was some of the bills that Bridges had put in, and for some unknown reason, it just took everything completely off the system for some reason. What about the gravel? Got anything on that? Uh, it should be. I didn't even look at my packet. I have actually got a copy. It ain't nothing. Did you get a copy of it last? We just got this a few minutes ago, Judge. Uh, yeah, I, well, I, did, uh, I did too. So copy of the gravel bill. Let's see. And, back. and I haven't even looked at it. I'll through it to you. I just got a time in ago. If you got the bill, Matt, for the gravel? I actually the gravel or the, or the place bill. Yeah, yeah, you got them. That's what I'm going to say. Can you, can you print them off if you ain't got them? Go ahead and do that when you jump on down to the next thing. Uh, when Charlie's doing that, consideration approval of resolution 2021-12-12 pertaining to premium pay. Me and Matt have been talking about this, and I know we talked about giving each employee $1,000 and fix it where we could take their taxes out or they actually receive a full thousand in part-time workers or receive uh, half of that amount, 500. But I was watching a thing where, I guess it was Somerset, they give each employee $10,000. $10, well, I think the state had, uh, I won't say the state, but they were talking about that it was put on hold uh, and it wasn't to do with that county, it was another county that after that applied for it. So if we do do this, before we make any checks out, Matt would need to get with the federal and yeah. make sure it's legit to even do this. Well, they just got to get got $12 million over there. Yeah, they got $12 million. Uh, $12 million. Yeah, they got $12 million. $12 million. Okay. Who yeah. got $20 million? I think Laurel got $20 Okay. We got it. <laughs> but we, we're, we're not right close to that. We no. may not have any employees that they've got either. According to this, according to this judge, the uh, total that our candidate will receive is uh, 2.4 yeah. million.
million dollars. We should have a half of it already. Uh, and, and I think uh, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to help people in the county like never before. Like broad, I mean broadband, broadband, water line, uh, improved water line in the county. Uh, I think we need to take a lot of consideration of what we do this money. But like I said, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to help if I we can. And, and, and I would like to see it invested where it will help a lot of households versus, uh, well, we don't have to worry about sewer. We don't have sewer in the county, but uh, we uh, got, we got. One, one thing I throw out there is um, I did some research on the broadband stuff, and they actually, like back at Green and AT&T, actually have their own set, their own pot of federal money they can dip into, and we can use this money in correlation with their money and do a match. So if they say, well, we want to do a $10 million project for the county, sure. but we need 10% down, well, we can go to them, right. say, we're going to give you the million that you need to fund your 10 million, and then we would get a $10 million project instead of a $1 million project. And I, I think that's how we need to look at it as a whole, too. I think we need to look down and up. And I was in a meeting when we did Louisville down there, and I don't know if y'all went into the same training that I went into, but uh, uh, I lost my train of thought. Like, uh, but but this this is a this is an ongoing thing that can be actually don't have to be spent to twenty twenty four. Yeah, and I think we need I and I do think it's going to start opening up where you can do a little bit more with it. I think you can allocate it up to uh, twenty four, but actually spend the money. I think you got twenty six. That right, man? Yeah, you have to have a plan in place. Have your mark. Yeah, have to have your mark, but uh, you go up to twenty twenty six. But that's what I say. I think. I think this right here for employees is a, is a, is a, is a plus and at Christmas time and, uh, and they deserve, they worked there, I mean, when that pandemic was going on, I mean, they never, never missed. I don't think they missed actually for no time. I think we paid them this off a couple weeks or maybe. Well, if they got we to pay them yeah. without, and they didn't come in. Right. But like, a lot of people work, like you you guys did, your office, they work from home. Yep. You know, so, but so, they had to have a good internet. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people in the county that have lost their job because they couldn't have uh, accessible internet service to, to work. And, uh, and, 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 I really think, and I really think we need to look at this uh, broadband mm -hmm. thing like doing a match. We could probably spend a thousand and go a long way versus spending 20 and uh, not covering more ground. Uh, but uh, so, so, do we. Do, Anyone, is this in agreement with everybody to go ahead and pay all employee, full time employees a thousand dollars and the ones that were part time five hundred and let them have just every, every employee that were they don't have to pay the taxes, the taxes be included in this uh, uh, premium pay? Now, there is some, if you look at the resolution, it's in there. Yeah, I didn't look at it yet. Shoot. All right, I'll put this in there. Um, here's the thing. <clears throat> there are some rules and stipulations that the state put forward if we do decide to do it. And the main one that affects people is that you have to be employed during that time and you have to be currently employed. So, while I'm not, you know, a lot of our, most of our full time employees, I think all of our full time employees are still that way, but I know some of the part time employees have found new jobs and that's, they can't, they're not. Allowed to receive that money. No, because they're no longer employed. Right. Yeah. So the ones that were employed during that time, if they're not employed now, they just get kicked out. So that pretty much cuts out about, I think, all the two part time workers. Well, three part time workers. So what's the total on the full time and part time number? No, I think it's about, about, it, it's about $30,000. Okay. 32, I can't remember, 50, remember? We did math, you sit there. Yeah. Is that 32, was it? 32000 yeah. dollars so we have 30, I think there's 35 employees, so we're probably yeah. out of the time, so the ones you got part time. So the, the Social Security match and all that? No. Yeah. No, we, so we, no. The Social Security match is kicking up um, about 40. Yeah. Actually, be that much money paid out, then the taxes on top of that be, be added to it. Yeah. So. I'll consider a motion to pay each full-time employee a thousand dollars that worked during the uh, when the COVID was going on, and five hundred dollars for the part-time employees. 
And I think it's 25 employees back for sure, but I mean 35. But I think it comes to 32,000 some dollars. Yeah. And it was uh, part time and it broke down. So do we have a motion? And that is making sure that it is, uh, well, we can't do it if it's not approved by the parent, but we need yeah. to send this in. And the, the process get their blessing on it before we can. I don't think Christmas is going to. Unless the state department's just on the ball, I don't think Christmas is a. I think it's a long job, but, but it could, it could. Yeah, happen. it could, but you know, state drags your feet sometimes. Um, but the process is, if we approve the resolution today, and then I got the paper. Uh, Bridget got me all the paperwork I needed for the <coughs> time cards. So I'll submit better resolution. The time cards backing it up. It'll go through the ARPA panel. DLG will have to look through it, and then they then they have to kick it back to us, and we have to reapprove it. And wrap checks. Right. So I'm not thinking Christmas is doable, but I mean, they could surprise us. It's kind of long job. At least, they, at least, uh, I mean, uh, that's something we can do for all our employees that uh, work during the pandemic. So, do we have a motion to go ahead and approve this resolution so Mac can put all the paperwork together, submit it to ARPA and DOG, and then, then we have to have another meeting on it to so do it after they approve it? And give me just a minute, I need to take this count. Hello? I'm doing very well. Very well, how are you doing? Uh, right at 35. What's this part of um, It's through the American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA money. Um, <clears throat> they're labeling it premium pay, and it's just making any employee. Uh, Available to receive uh, extra compensation for the time they work here in the pandemic. Okay. American Rescue Plan Act. Thank you. So y'all got two point four million. I think it's two point four five six. But two point four, did you two point four? Two point four five three two two nine. Yeah, I thought. It's just for clarification that the elected officials are not included. Is that not true? The elected officials are not It's just, yeah, just some people. No, our salaries are safe and not be amended. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. That was Frank Kern. I didn't know who it was. Uh, did anybody make the motion to give employees that long? Okay, is that something you want to think about or just don't want to do anything right now? Okay, no motion, so we'll put it on hold. <coughs> Consideration approval to pay Jiffy Mark for fuel in an amount of $3,407.72. Motion. Second. Is there a second? Second. Is there a second? Any more? Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, uh, motion carried. Consideration approval of FA AT, and that's uh, in your packet there to draw three, four, and five, and I think this is almost draw everything out. Yeah, after he does this, there will be a couple of uh, James, this guy's handling it now. Uh, we've been in contact pretty regularly. He said he was pretty much going to close it out. Yeah. Well, it's just, I think it's only $222. Yeah, it's a couple hundred dollars in there. So. Motion. Second. Was that you made a motion, Ray? Yes, sir. Ellis <coughs> Changer? Aye. Uh, Dr. Bush? Aye. Uh, Ray Moore? Aye. Uh, okay, at this time, uh, we'll... How about you better back up on B or grab a B on your flex B? Oh, okay, here. Uh, I'm sorry, they probably didn't hear y'all gonna look at it, look through it. I don't know if it's broke down and now... I like to look at the gravel. Yeah, yeah, it's broke down. Here you go. Y'all just... Yeah, why don't, why don't y'all look at that while they're while we're in recess and then we come back and, okay. and we'll have to right. we can do that while y'all do that while we're while they're uh, so at this time uh consider a motion to go in recess. Uh should we have a motion? Motion. We have a second. Second. Donnie Bush? Aye. Roy, uh Ray Moore? Hill Changer. Uh, All right. Give us a little bit of time and we'll try to get to you.
Recess. Motion. Second. <coughs> Okay, we're getting a total on the gravel and stuff, but on the uh, item number, right? Getting an, uh, item number four to consideration of fruit paint, Charlie and Pool on Bridge County K, 19 C 11 274, Kentucky Court of Appeals 2020 C 141. But uh, the settlement today that uh, is going to be paid is for the 57 pay, pay periods for Charlotte Bailey and the amount. Of sixty-one thousand six hundred eighty-seven dollars and eleven cents, and uh, like we was talking before, we came back out of recess. Once Charlie had been paid for uh, those fifty-seven pages, will actually be voided, and all that active that amount just to limit itself. Right? Yeah. Um, one thing, if you do decide to vote this through, I'll need uh, not just consideration and appro uh, approval to. Pay it full, but also do any transfers needed to get the money because it's not in there. Yeah, transfer from one place to the Yeah, I have to transfer that general. So the motion will be to pay for <coughs> it $61,687, and also in this motion will be to uh, give them that uh, approval to transfer uh, out of one account into the general account. Don't you have a man on the line item for the deputy judge to pay? It ain't worth that. It's for the rest of the year. You got, it, it's, it's got some in it. Yeah, it's got a little in it. He has to pay the rest of the year's payroll with it. Well, why don't we just break it down 12 eight until we don't have to? That's up to you all. I mean, and then move it into that. And well, I figured if you break it down 12 eight, it's looking at $5,140.59. Mm -hmm. That takes you to pay the on Sixty-one, six, eight, seven, eleven total. I think and we need to go ahead and get this wiped off, and that way we don't have to do the same thing on retirement stuff. Uh, and we don't need to do this and have that hang on when we try to come up with a retirement. It's not going to put a bigger burden on the county if you break it down. It's not going to put a bigger burden on the county. I mean, transfer right now. He's got the city to transfer the money, so yeah, but it's another part. Pull it from other places. I'm not real sure. I don't think to. I'm not real sure where I can come up with that one out of one line. Um, there is an amendment that we're in the process of doing that we give it to me, but it ain't done. Well, that amendment to something? Uh, the last one we did, we did a first read. We're waiting on to come back to DLG. Right. But it's not bad. Um, once it comes back, we'll have to put it on a regular meeting. Just read it again, and then we can do it. Um, I can pull it from any other spot from now, just nickel and dime it, and then put it back. After we get there, I think we need to do this. We need, we need to just go ahead and just get this one completely out of the way because uh, then, but then maybe that other transfer will be there where we can do the retirement and borrow from Peter and pay power. Okay. Okay. We can okay. take it out of one pocket, put another. You can't do the 51 board, break the January, start to pay. I said, I'd be up to Charlotte to do it. We could do it. Oh, it's up to us. That's you to both through what you want to do, but she has to accept it. That's still not the right way to do it, old guy. She's been waiting on this thing for two years. And we knew it was coming a year and a half ago when Frank made a ruling. Well, and we didn't know if it was this time. Like I said, the ruling is the ruling. It's not for the law, but it is what it is. So it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, what I'm saying, we've got it in. We've got it in. We just have to transfer it out of their department and put it in. And then we can get her other. Put it back. Uh, put it back. And it's a bar. Yeah, it's a back. Yeah. And that should be coming just any day, really. Should have been. Should have been. I don't know if you're getting it from. Yeah, it's probably the mail. They always mail it. Though. Yeah. They don't scan the and They mail But the motion that I want to consider approval is the pay chart into full amount of 61, 687, 11. And give them that to approve to transfer out of different funds into the general fund, and then when we get to payment back, if we want to put it all back in, and we do have to do that with just another department. You did. I can't get legal soft to come up. Just a little girl. Yeah. I just called the county. She brought the county. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I'll let you do that. We will add on. I'll let you do that. Check in where I'm calling the room later. Yeah, okay, is anybody going to make a motion to go ahead and pay Charlie her full amount of her salary and give back the approval to transfer and pay them general funds and then when we get her other payback, put it back over in and get back in the general. And like I said, general, we just have to transfer it from one department to the next. Place will burden the county to pay off that debt all the time. We're not even burden the county. It's in there. $61,000 I'm going to burden yeah, the county. And we've actually got 200 and some, 216 a one-time transfer thing we could do out of the road department, but I don't feel it's too bad, I think. She gets paid. She gets paid. And then we're getting ready to get another round of occupational tax coming in, so that'll be uh, probably around 250 to 80. The money's there and the finances is there. Just have to transfer it out of different accounts. And they don't need to start wanting to do payments on this, and then when uh, we call it all that come in. I mean, we're going to have to do the same thing again. But like I say, I mean, we knew it's been coming for 18 months. I think the most fair would be for some pay of 51, 40, 59. You can't do that. Um, We've been, that was the whole reason we went to court to begin with. Because if you remember, we had year, and I did take that in charge. You're not going to accept this? I, Donnie, I'm, I'm Charlotte's lawyer. I work for Charlotte. Charlotte's here. We can ask her. Go on now. Here, they don't need to start doing that, Donnie, making payments. <coughs> uh, well, well, yeah. God, if we didn't have it, it'd be different. We're looking out for the taxpayers. Yeah. Huh? Look out for the county that's paid us. Look out for the county that's what? But people have to pay this. We don't have to pay it. You don't have to pay it, but the taxpayers do. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to pay it, but I mean, we knew it was coming for 18 months. And well, we, we, we and got and everything we do. And I want the finances, and we've got, we got the finances in there. It just has to be transferred. That's asphalt. Well. Sound different. You, you, you created a situation. We did. That's asphalt. Well. Okay. Uh, uh, she already did a pan full amount. Her Donnie is wanting to make a motion of, if you were going to accept what was the amount of taxes, 5,000? 51, 40, 59 per month, 12 months to pay us. Donnie, I've waited and I've waited for two years. So I'd like to have them 61,000 for the well, salary part right now. We'd like to give it to you, Charlotte, but like I said, it's going to put our county in a disadvantage. Now, wait a minute, Donnie. How's it going to, How's it going to do that? I'm not, I'm not sure God in it. I'm not here to argue. Have you looked at the finances? Have you looked at the finances? It's going to cause a problem with some of the line items right now. It well, is. you have to have to up your line items. Yeah, it's going to cause a problem. I mean, as long as, no, as long as no big deals come in, then we're okay. If something big was coming in, some of those line items is going to hurt us. But, I mean, that's all what you're saying right. is over all the money's there. It's just a matter of shit. It's all spread out. Yeah, it's just going to be a lot of work. And, and, and they're more, they're more enough money to pay that. I don't know if it's what we've got. God forbid, but what we've got to do is like to make your stuff, you guys. I mean, we don't ever know. If we strap ourselves here, we're going to put a seven thousand there. If we had 10,000, we got to pick up what they got. That's what I get to ask them. Here's my number. Here's my number. For three months. Huh? That's the total. Okay, the motion that, that I've got up for vote is uh, pay charges in the full amount of sixty-one thousand six hundred and seven dollars seven cents. Nobody and it was for MAP approval to do transfer. Nobody do we have a motion? I guess we ain't gonna pay it. I guess the next thing to do is go to court and I guess I mean I don't I mean I don't know why y'all wanna to go back over there. I mean you've been a dozen times, you know it's coming for eighteen months. Make a motion. Pay 50, 140, 50, okay, they already motion they already motion up the road. Have we got a motion or a second or is it gonna die? Charlotte, if this passes, what are you gonna tell me to do? 
If this passes the way Donnie's proposed it, if it's 5000 a month in parts, are you going to tell me to go back over there? Yeah. Go back here. Okay, okay, so no motion should be made on it? Absolutely, Donnie. No jokes. Yeah, no. Okay, so now the motion is that Donnie is making a motion to pay her 5149 How many cents? 59. 5140, 59, 12 months payment. Till this growth pay is paid. That's Donnie's motion. You might gonna make a motion on that. I make it my I second that motion. Who made the motion? I did. Don't you say Donnie did? I don't okay, know. Here. Still need to add on to it that I need to make transfers. I don't think you'll have to prove that. I don't think she's going to take it. Well, we got uh, Donnie Bush. Bush. Open a second on the floor. Donnie Bush. Aye. Ray Moore. Aye. Bill Chanter. Aye. Uh, motion carries. So, Dirk, whatever you're in charge of, need to do to get your money to uh, be left to you. Next thing is a motion to pay the flex bill and gravel bill. The flex bill is uh, $500,957.93. And the gravel for three months is eight thousand eight hundred fifty four dollars twenty eight cents. Do we have a motion to pay those bills? We figure it's getting Five hundred thousand nine hundred fifty seven dollars. So on flex. Ninety three cents. Yep, on flex. And then the total for hinkle and gravel for September, October, November is eight thousand eight hundred fifty four dollars and twenty eight cents. Uh, we, we get, for the record, we're getting reimbursed for the flex for the state. Yeah. That's the right now if you want to stop. Oh, okay. I make a motion. Second. <coughs> Thank <clears throat> you. 